Okay, so we have defined all the earthquake loads. Now let us define the dead loads as well. The first dead that we always define is the self weight. Click on add. And now let us define the self weight. Factor is minus one, direction is y. Click on add. So we have defined the self weight. Now we need the member load. And uh, so now we need to define the uh, beam loads. So uh, if we go to AutoCAD, the beams uh, here have got two kinds of load. Uh, actually only one. Uh, that is the load due to the brick wall. So brick walls are actually of two kinds. So this is a full brick wall. So this is a 230 mm brick wall. And this is a half brick wall. This is 110 mm brick wall without any plaster. So this is 230. This is 230, 115. This is 230. Now this brick wall is complete. Uh, it doesn't have any opening, but this brick wall has got the openings. So different load value will be for this wall and if there will be different load value for this wall. Now what I need to do is that as you can see over here, uh, the weight of the load is in kilo Newton per feet. Uh, now let me change the unit first. So click on close. And after that, uh, go to here. So you input units, left click on it is not allowed while adding or editing the load items. So I'll not be adding the load. So I'll go to the support option, uh, left clicking on the support tab and again, go to units, input units. Now let us change the units to, okay. The length unit is in foot. I'll change to meter and the force unit is kilonewton, which is good. Click on okay. Now again, go to loads and definition tab. Now again, open this load case details. Uh, click on yes, save it. Uh, you must keep saving your structure. Now to dead load, uh, click on dead. And after that, click on add. Now we need to define the member load. Okay, so now it is in kilonewton per meter. Uh, we have to calculate the weight of the wall in kilonewton per meter value. So you see that, uh, you see that if I show you, okay, if this is our uh, beam, uh, let me just draw a simply supported beam. And uh, if this is our wall, the wall has got some thickness. The wall is made up of bricks. Okay. And if you go to IS875 part one, you will find the unit weight of different kinds of brick. Uh, the unit weight of the brick that is generally used is 19 kilo Newton per meter cube, 19 kilo Newton per meter cube. If I multiply this, uh, you know, 19, this unit weight or say gamma value by area of this brick. So area will be in meter square. So I'll get the value in kilo Newton per meter. So what area should I use? I cannot use the length because this is in per meter. So I'll use the height, the height and I'll use the thickness. I cannot use the length because it is in kilo Newton per meter per meter length of the beam. So I need to find the height of this brick wall. I need to find the thickness of the brick wall. So uh, thickness or you can say the width. So thickness of the brick wall is 230 mm. That is 0 0.23 meter. And the height of the brick wall, I will calculate from the section of this structure. So if I go to the section, so you can see that the brick wall will be from this slab up to uh, this beam. So it will not go above the beam. And the, uh, you know, the walls are generally placed uh, below the beam. And okay, so uh, let me measure it from the tip of this slab. So from here up to the face of this beam, or you can say the base of this beam. So it's eight feet and two inches, this height. So this is the height of my wall as well. And eight feet and two inches, if I convert it into meter. So uh, if I convert eight feet and two inches, so uh, one feet has as uh, one meter has got 3.281 feet. So let me first convert uh, this into uh, feet. And if I divide this value by 3.281, I'll get the value in meter. So it's 2.48 uh, meter or you can say 2.49 meter. 
okay so let me go to again here so height is 2.2.49 meter so the area is 2.49 into 0 0.23 which is equal to and if i multiply this with 0 0.23 my answer is 0 0.572 0 0.572 meter square so load per kilo newton is equal to 0 0.572 times 19 which is equal to or you can use 19.2 okay so it is just an you know uh, so it is just to make you understand so uh, you have to actually go to IS 875 part 2 and see these values so it's 19 and it's 10.87 it's 10.87 kilo newton per meter so this is for the full brick wall without any opening so if the wall has got opening so if the wall has got openings like this then we, we have to reduce the load by 30 percent so if the wall has got opening then the load will only be so 10.87 into uh, 0 0.7 so I have reduced 30 percent and multiply it with 0 0.7 which is equal to so if I multiply the answer with 0 0.7 then it's 7.61 7.61 kilo newton per meter okay now for uh, we see that for 230 mm wall 230 mm wall 230 mm wall uh 230 mm wall plus opening plus opening means that with opening its load is 10.87 kilo newton per meter and without opening its 7.67 kilo newton per meter now for a 110 mm wall that is a half brick wall and if you do the same calculations okay so do the same calculations what you have to do you have to first find the you have to first find the area so area is uh as what was the height let me see the height it was 2.49 so 2.49 times 0 0.11 and hit enter so this is my area so if i multiply it with 19 so this will be the 5.2 zero this will be the load per unit control z this will be load per unit so 100 mm wall so plus opening plus opening it will be 5.20 kilo newton per meter Oops, sorry uh, this is not like this so this is minus opening without opening and this is with opening so this will be minus opening that is without opening and plus opening that is with opening so it will be 5.20 times 0 0.7 which is equal to 5.20 5.20 times 0 0.7 which is equal to 3.64 3.64 kilo newton per meter now we got the brick wall load values and we'll define these values okay so let us go to uh, let us go to start pro